video is all about momentum, which is basically if two things crash, who wins, who loses, or who draws. So there's a bike and there's a good dog. And uh, I reckon in this case, obviously the bike's going to win because um, he's got more mass. Although, if this guy here was going real fast, maybe like he'd do some damage, but yeah, probably not. A smart car. Well, this is this is pretty easy because uh, clearly the bike's going to win. <laughs> These smart cars are super light. Um, a bike going at 10 miles an hour would not cover a smart car because they're rubbish. <laughs> okay, maybe a smart car would win. Um, but definitely, if I change that to a train, the smart car would be toast and um, crumpled pretty quickly. So, but as it depends on how big it is, but also how fast it's going. So, the science way to say that is it depends on how fast it's going in a direction or the velocity and how much stuff it's got and much matter, which is the mass. So, let's add some numbers. Turns out, to see who, who wins, all I need to do right, is just multiply their mass and velocity together. I'm not going to put the units because I'm lazy um, and because it's a short video. So, oh I, oh, I should, I'll do it at least once, okay. Um, two times three is six, that's not too bad. And the units are weird. It's kilograms for mass. You put a dot to say you're multiplying them together and then you just write meters per second. So you just multiply the units together as well as the numbers together. There we go. All right, so it makes it do that every time. Then 0.5 times four, well that's two. 0.5 is a half. Two kilograms is why meters per, they really should have come up with a short unit for uh, momentum, but they didn't. It's stuck like that. Um, what about this? Okay, so this time it's 30 versus two times 600 Oh, 2 times 300 is 600, I should say. 600, and again, you really should write in the units. I'll do it, because repetition, while boring, puts this in your memory. Meters per second. And that, I'll write down here, because I don't have a space. Kilograms, meters per second. Put a dot between them. Okay, okay, Jesus, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna win. You can see just by how much now. Twenty tons or so. So that's forty thousand. Forty thousand kilograms meters per second. Um versus this guy, which is I think if you work that out it's like two thousand. Um so clearly the thing with the bigger mass wins. How and ever if if I was to uh bring this, this car to the garage and uh, give it some go faster red stripes which makes it the fastest object in the world now I've got 70,000 meters per second and that's what you've got to watch if you put red stripes in your car this is what happens now if I work it out okay this is going to be real big so it's 2 times 7 is 14 and then you just plug in all the zeros there's two zeros there 1, 2 and then 4 of these 1, 2, 3 Four. Oh God! So fourteen million <laughs> kilograms meters per second, um, and this guy only had I think forty thousand, didn't he? Okay. So in this case, the go fast red stripe uh, smart car would win if you rammed into a train at that speed. But you know, seventy thousand meters per second. Uh, <laughs> at that speed he would be like burning up in the atmosphere and um, uh, well yeah he would probably just explode in a fireball a collision with the air before he got in near these guys but anyway it's fun to think about um, and, and finally the unit as you may have seen is kilograms uh, times meters per second um, this is really weird for some reason, they don't use M for momentum. They've got this tricky thing because mass is already in the formula for momentum. So how confusing would it be if it was M equals MV? Blah. So they had to change it to P for momentum. That's not, that's not a real thing. I'm just making that up. Um, there's no such thing as momentum. There is momentum, 
but it is for real. I'm not making this up. They do use P for it. Okay, so P is momentum. Go figure. Anyway, that's it. And if you like a triangle, here's a triangle. So, very, very quickly, if you're asked to find the velocity given the momentum and the mass, all you do is you cover this up with your finger, blah, and then you divide um, P by M to get V. Something like that. Okay. Ah, uh, that's pretty much it. So now you can calculate the momentum of the object. The end.